Welcome to another episode of Free Speech for People's videos on money and politics, corporate power, and presidential corruption and abuse of power. I'm Ron Fine, the legal director of Free Speech for People, and today we are here with Shanna Cleveland, our senior counsel. Hey, everybody. So what do you have for us this week, Shanna? Well, there was big news in the money and politics front uh, this past week. We found out that back in November, shortly after the tax reform bill passed, Charles Koch and his wife Elizabeth gave $500,000 to Paul Ryan's super PAC, uh, presumably uh, because of their joy at the passage of the unpopular tax reform bill. But why, why is that important? One reason this is important is because we actually had senators and representatives saying clearly that they were voting because of fears of their donors rather than out of an interest in their constituents. So. Chris Collins, Republican from New York, actually said out loud, if we don't pass this bill, my donors aren't gonna give me any money. The contributions are gonna dry up. Senator Lindsey Graham said essentially the same thing. If we don't pass this bill, we're not gonna get contributions and that means we're gonna suffer losses in the 2018 election. So despite the fact that polls were showing that the American public only had about a 26% approval rating for the proposed bill, the senators and representatives were listening to money instead of to voters uh, about whether or not they should pass this bill. That's a, a pretty disturbing story, but is this only about one party? It's not. I mean, this is the thing about money in politics, is that really we've seen an increase in spending across the board, uh, and corporations especially, who have a lot of money uh, to, to play around with, are hedging their bets and giving to both sides. So a good example of this is the committees uh, that were used to pay for and host the Republican and Democratic national conventions uh, during the presidential election. So we had Facebook, for example, who gave 1.3 million to the Democrats to host their national convention. Well, guess what? They also gave $900,000 to the Republicans to host their convention. So they know that whoever ends up in power, um, they're going to have some access to because of the amount of money that they're giving to the coffers of the parties there. And it's not just Facebook. Um, we're also talking about major trade groups. So for example, the American Petroleum Institute, the, the biggest arm of the oil and gas lobbying, uh, industry is giving money to the Republicans but also to the Democrats. They gave about a million to the Republican committee to host the national convention. They gave uh, about 700,000 to the Democrats. And that probably wasn't just because they wanted to meet Alicia Keys. Yeah, I mean you can imagine that they're not giving this money away for free. They expect to get something in return and part of what they expect is access uh, to lawmakers when they go in and talk to them about what bills they want to see passed. Now, individuals just can't compete with that level of funding. I mean, you're talking about individuals who are giving $25 here, $50 there, um, and if what we're seeing is congressmen and women talking about the impact that the donors have and the need for an influx of money to win campaigns, then you're looking at a serious imbalance um, in influence, but more importantly, you're looking at corruption and the appearance of corruption because they are definitely being swayed by the money that's coming in. So how can people learn more about this and what they can do about it? Well, one thing you can do is go to our website, freespeechforpeople.org. We've been working since Citizens United uh, really was decided to try to get money out of politics and call attention to this. Um, so you can go to our website, find out about the constitutional amendment, find out about work that we're doing uh, on campaign finance reform and in money and politics litigation. Um, and you can also um, start paying close attention um, to the news and noticing when people are talking about the influence uh, that money and politics is having. Thanks a lot, Shanna, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.